welcome to learning management system it is an initiation of department of collegiate and technical education today i will discuss automobile electronics that is unit 2 from applications of electronics engineering applications of electronics engineering is a fifth semester subject of diploma electronics and communication branch before i begin the present session i would like to recap or revise the previous session dear students in last session we discuss about electronically controlled suspension system we know that the introduction of electronics in automobile has improve its performance efficiency as well as reliability in the same way the introduction of electronics in suspension system has improved the performance of automobile how electronically controlled suspension system works before going into electronically controlled suspension system we also discuss the basic terminologies used in the suspension the terminologies namely ride and handling what is ride ride means the motion or the movement of vehicle body in response to the irregularity of the road similarly the motion of the body when the brake is applied that is called handling the both the concepts we discuss in the last session similarly we have also seen that how the different sensors such as wheel speed sensors acceleration sensors brake pedal sensors and wheel and body distance sensors were used in electronically controlled suspension system the electronically controlled suspension system has is its brain that is called ecu electronically controlled unit or electronic control unit usually it comprises of microprocessor and that microprocessor is programmed by the manufacturer that manufacturer with who the who programmed that chip and that chip works on that program it gets the input from the sensor and it process it accordingly and generate the output and give it to the actuators and air compressor we know that actuator is one more device which creates the motion in the previous session we also discuss how the suspension system works in different situations different situations like when we cornering the vehicle or turning the vehicle how the different and various sensors are involved in controlling the damping of suspension similarly in bouncing and in pitching condition also we have seen how the suspension system works and how various sensors are involved to gather the data dear students in this way the electronically controlled suspension system works and the electronically controlled suspension system add the advantage to automobile vehicles and it increases the safety luxury and comfortability of the driver as well as the passenger this is all about previous session now we'll start with the present session that is instrument panel display this is content about instrument panel displays what is instrument panel display dear student we know that whenever we are going to start a car beneath the steering we will find one display that is called instrument panel display that is also known as dashboard sometimes we simply call it as panel the now the question arise in our mind what's its purpose what is called instrument panel display and why do we use it it's very simple dear students it is used to provide 
the information to the driver. It is used to provide the information to the driver. What information it provides? It provides the information regarding the speed of the vehicle. Assume that I am driving a car on a road with 60 km per hour to 80 km per hour that is indicated on the instrument panel display. These indications can be represented digitalized form or it can be represented in analog form with needle display which is in turn controlled by the stepper motor. Similarly, it also shows the RPM that is rotation per minute. The very important one and which is always been a concern of the driver that is fuel level because without fuel level or without knowing fuel level we cannot travel for far distance. This fuel level is also indicated or also shown in the instrument panel display. Again this indication may be in a digital form or it may be in analog form. The next parameter which is shown on digital panel display that is coolant temperature. What is coolant? In vehicle or in automobile vehicle, various kinds of liquids are used. The basic liquids which are used are water in radiator, similarly fuel in fuel tank and the coolant which is of green color and that, is, that helps to maintain the temperature of the engine along with the radiator. In order to know its temperature, the coolant is or coolant temperature sensor is also used and the same temperature is shown on instrument panel display. Similarly, the distance traveled. Assume that today I bought a new car and if I start running that car for long distance or if I start traveling to this far distance using that car and that travel distance will be shown in the odometer or in the display or instrument panel display. Similarly, if a vehicle is used for commercial purpose or for tourist purpose, then in order to make that odometer or to set that odometer to zero setting, we use the trip meter. The name, in the name itself indicates it is used to or it is used for trip. Similarly, along with the these various parameters, it also has the various alarms as well as display which alerts the driver as well as passengers. Dear students, nowadays the modern cars also has trip computer. What is that trip computer? It's very simple. For instance, a driver is going to a particular place and if he has some amount of fuel, if he travel with average speed, what will be the average fuel consumption and what will be the mileage per liter and what time the vehicle may take etc. and other features are also shown by this trip computer. Computer, it may have or it may have the simple microprocessor which processes the information with the help of input sensors and processed information are displayed on the display. This is all about basics of instrument panel display. Now we will try to understand how instrument panel display its basic block diagram works. Before going into basic block diagram, dear students, this is the pictorial representation of instrument panel display. On my left hand side, one panel is displayed that is indicating RPM. Similarly, on my right side, the panel which is having that showing the MPL that is meter per hour. It shows the speed, it shows the RPM of the wheel. Similarly, here it is a level of battery and it is level of fuel. And the very important one, the middle part here we can see that 
it is indicating the blow level or the air level in all four wheels that is indicated in MSI. This is basic pictorial representation of instrument panel display. Now coming to the basic block diagram. The instrument panel display comprises of three main parts that is sensor, electrical signal, pro electrical signal processor, electrical signal processor and it also has instrument panel display. By using sensor, the information can be measured. If the information or the signals are a physical quantity and if those signals are not in electrical form, then these signals are converted to electric form and it is given to the processor also known as microcomputer. Usually the sensors are used to convert the non-electrical signal to electrical signal. Once the information is after getting the sensor information, the processor is used to process the signal and it is given to the instrument panel display. The display may be of type LCD or LED or we may have the analog display. Now coming to what are all the vehicle status sensors are being used as input quantity. Dear students, we have these following type of sensors or the instrument panel we are going to use the following type of quantity to display its data on instrument panel. Before going into this various parameter, we will have one look over this pictorial representation. Here we can see that this is the display of advanced vehicle or latest vehicle. Here we can see that on my right side, this is MPL, MPH that is meter per hour speed. This is a speedometer and this shows the revolution per minute. Similarly, here we have different modes that is we have classic mode and here we have gear and speed mode. Similarly, economy and range economy and here we also have navigation mode and this is driver assistance system. Nowadays, the modern vehicle has these type of systems. Now coming to the vehicle status sensors. Number one is fuel quantity. To check the fuel quantity, the sensor is used in instrument panel display is fuel sensor. Where the fuel sensor senses the level of the fuel in fuel tank and sends the appropriate signal to processor. Similarly, vehicle speed sensor. Vehicle speed sensor also senses the speed of vehicle. How it senses the speed of vehicle? The simple concept to every wheel or the wheel of rear wheel or the front wheel, the threads are attached or the gears are attached to the wheel. And a sensor which is connected in conjunction with that gear. Whenever the tooth moves or the wheel moves, that wheel's tooth gets counted by vehicle speed sensor. It is as simple as the tachometer. Tachometer is also used to find the revolution or speed of the motor. The same way vehicle speed sensor also works. Similarly, coolant temperature. As I said you in previous slide that various types of liquids are used in the vehicle. That may be water in radiator or the oil, lubricants or the fuel in fuel tank. Likewise, the coolant is also used to maintain the temperature of engine. In particular, maintain the temperature of vehicle. In order to check its temperature, the sensor are used that is called coolant temperature sensor. Similarly, 
in order to sense the outside ambient temperature we use the some temperature sensor to sense the ambient temperature similarly to check brake fluid quantity to check brake fluid quantity what is brake fluid quantity those who manage the vehicle they know that various type of fluids are used in the vehicle some some fluids are called engine oil some fluids are called brake oil some is called fuel that is petrol or diesel the brake oil is known as brake fluid the brake fluid it is very much useful in the braking system these quantity can also be checked with the help of input sensor likewise we the gear selector is also used the position of gear is also shown on the display and detection of open or close of the door or i can say that the status of the door is also indicated with the help of sensor on instrument panel these are all the basic status sensor that has been used in the wet now we will have the detailed discussion about instrument panel block diagram dear student first we will see what is sensor sensor is a device which converts the quantity to be measured into electrical signal whether this signal is electrical or not it will convert to electrical signal for example if the elect if the input to be measured is in physical quantity or non electrical form that will be converted to electrical form if the signal is directly available in electrical form then we need not to convert it will directly use this signal and send it to electrical signal processor or the micro computer once we get the signal from the sensor we will process using the micro computer what is that process dear students the signal whatever we get from the various devices are not in good form we have to make it compatible so that we can send it to instrument panel display what signal processing performance or operation we have to perform here the number one is noise removal number two amplification number three analog to digital conversion in analog to digital conversion we perform the operation like sampling quantization and encoding and after performing this we will make this signal suitable for instrument panel display so that we can display it easily here in signal processing we use the micro computer for signal processing operation once we process the signal with the help of microprocessor now we will send that signal to instrument panel display this display may be a analog display this display may be lcd display or it may be the combination of both one where we observe these parameters as i discussed earlier nowadays the modern car has the facility or feature to show the average speed of vehicle to travel assume that we are going for the trip assume that we are going for the trip and to achieve or to reach the destination if we go with these or 50 km or 80 km per hour that is average speed what will be the average fuel required and how much mileage we will get per liter that can also be counted with the help of this feature these features are available in the modern car dear student this is detailed block diagram representation of instrument panel display as we have seen in the previous diagram it consists of sensors signal processing device and the output or the display likewise we also has the input signal we will discuss one after another in input signal we have the signals is in digital form as well as in analog form 
if we get the signal is in digital form then we know it need not to convert it again back to digital we can directly use it before going into digital and analog form let us understand what is sensor or what is transducer transducer or a sensor are the device which converts the quantity to be measured from physical to electrical once we convert that signal to electrical form that will be given to the signal processing device dear students the we have various types of sensors or transducer that may be analog or digital some sensors converts the physical quantity and convert it back to electrical form and that will be in digital form that is called digital sensor similarly some sensors converts the quantity to be quantity to be measured usually from physical quantity or non electrical quantity to electrical form and that is in analog form or the output signal changes with respect to time that is called analog transducer or analog sensors here in digital form we are measuring the speed and we are checking the petrol injection impulse this we have seen in the previous sessions that how the fuel consumption happens and how we can control this fuel consumption with the help of electronic ignition system how the different sensor were used in that system here for in digital section we use speed and consumption of petrol is measured similarly in analog the tank level of fuel or external temperature and the brightness indicator brightness indicator are used this in the analog form and we can also measure the battery status the battery status how much percent of battery has been consumed and how much percent of battery voltage is available for the further use that can also be measured with the help of the sensors and these are all the input signals in order to operate these input sensor we need the battery or we need the primary source of energy that is the battery what is battery battery is also known as secondary storage device which stores the electrical energy in the form of chemical energy or i can say it converts that electrical energy into chemical form and store that electricity it can store the energy for long time and it retrieves or gives back energy whenever be required this is about battery now coming to the very important section that is the signal processing section or the microcomputer it consists of these following devices dear students it has input and output devices and it also has the power supply section here we can see that at input device we have keyboards data indicator and control and warning leds through keyboard we can make the setting we can select the appropriate setting similarly this is data selector as we have seen in the previous slide with the help of touch screen or keyboard we can select the appropriate mode in the vehicle similarly the control and warning leds also we have for to get the information now coming to the internal part of the signal processing device or signal processing part here the important one it also has additional input and output and the very important one it has cmos clock and alarm what is cmos clock cmos stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor clock these type of clocks nowadays are mainly used in the computer let me tell you how cmos clock works in the computer so that we can understand this concept easily when we turn off the computer even if you turn off the computer after turning on that computer it shows the current time and it is because of the cmos clock the cmos clock internally works with the help of lithium battery or even also known as 
CMOS battery. The CMOS battery helps the CMOS clock to continuous update the time even if the computer is in off state or standby state. The same concept has been used in the instrument panel display where the CMOS clock is used. Similarly, the alarming condition is also used along with the CMOS clock. The one more part that is analog to digital converter also known as ADC. If the signals are in digital form that can be directly used. If the signals are in analog form we cannot use it directly or system may not understand these signal. In order to convert those signal from analog to digital the ADC is used. The analog to digital converter is also an hardware device. It performs the signal in three steps. It takes the signal, make the sampling and quantized it and it make appropriate encoding. Once we encode that signal, once we obtain that digital signal that will be given to the microcomputer or the brain of this system. Along with the microcomputer, we have two important modules that is CMOS RAM and additional RAM. What is different between or what is difference between the CMOS RAM and additional RAM? First of all, we will try to understand what is RAM. RAM is random access memory. This is volatile memory. What is volatile memory? Volatile memory means Whenever we turn off a system or whenever there is power goes off, whatever data stored in the RAM will be vanished or that will be deleted. What is CMOS RAM then? CMOS RAM means that this is also known as NVRAM. This is also known as NVRAM. What do you mean by NVRAM? NVRAM means non-volatile random access memory. Assume that we have power in our system till then the data will be processed or stored in the RAM. When the power goes off I then these RAM will be supported with the help of CMOS battery. That means even if the power goes off the CMOS battery will support the RAM to retain its data hence it is called NVRAM or non-volatile RAM. Similarly we also has the additional RAM to process the information along with the microcomputer. In order to handle or in, in order to excite this circuit, we use the power supply that is DC power supply that is very important that also derived from the battery. Once we process the input signal from the input sensors, now it's time to send that signal to output, si output device and now we have made that signal which is very much suitable to the output display. The display may be LCD display or LED or we may have some buzzer or warning bells or horns or we may have some additional heaters. In this way we convert or sense or the vehicle with the help of different sensor sense the various signal process it accordingly and then send it for display. This is all about the elaborated or detailed block diagram of instrument panel display. Dear students, nowadays along with the this complete session or this complete block diagram, nowadays the stepper motors are also used or I can say along with the digital display, the analog displays are also used. Analog display which is having the needle and that needle is controlled by the stepper motor. And depending on the functions, the LCD is also used and the processor which we have seen here, the complete this part is also known as application specific standard ASSP or system on chip. Now we will try to understand what is ASSP or ASIC or system on chip. When the, when the IC is fabricated, it is classified into two categories. One is ASIC and one more is FPGA. What is ASIC? ASIC means Application Specific Integrated Circuit also known as ASSP. And one more is FPGA that is Field Programmable Gate Array Logic. The ASIC or ASSP is a chip 
which is manufactured with all required peripherals like analog input output lcd stepper motor drives all lab drives and all required peripherals are together manufactured along with the processor that is known as application specific integrated circuit whereas the fpga that can be programmed that means field programmable gate array logic it facilitate to it facilitate the programmer to customize the programming what is the advantage of asic advantage of asic is here the circuit can be optimized and it consumes less space on a chip and it it consumes less cost or it offers less cost now coming to some latest feature which are available in the car trip nowadays on instrument panel display in modern or latest car or high feature car has a one feature that is called car trip car trip computer with the help of this car trip computer all the information can be integrated in the dashboard what information yes dear students if you are traveling from one point to another point assume that this is a trip we are traveling from this point to this point and here we can estimate the distance and we can estimate how much distance we can travel in the remaining fuel and we can also check based on the speed based on the fuel quantity we can also check the amount of time it may consume we can also check the average speed estimated time to reach the destination the very important one the oil diagnostic indicator is also available oil diagnostic one of the very important component in the maintenance of the vehicle dear students now it's time to answer some mcqs hope you have understand the previous session let's try to answer this question the question number 1 is dash is used to convert non electrical signal to electrical signals you have four options that is sensor transistor actuator and all of the above please use your knowledge which you acquired in the previous session and try to answer this question the answer to this question is sensor sensor is used to convert non electrical signal to electrical signal now we will see the next question question number 2 dash is used to measure the input signal of car dash device is used to measure the input signal of the car the options are sensor transistor actuator or all of the above dash is used to measure the input signal of car whether it is sensor or transistor or actuator try to answer this question dear students the answer of this question is sensor now we have question number 3 electrical signal processor is used for dash what is the use of electrical signal processor try to answer this question you have four options a signal processing second rectification both a and b or none of the above what would be its answer dear students the answer to this question is signal processing electrical signal processor is used for signal processing now coming to the next question the instrument panel display is also known as dash you have four option that is dash dashboard or bearing or wheel or none of the above try to choose the proper option the answer to this question is the dash dashboard is also known as instrument panel display now we will have next question vehicle input sensor is used to measure dash you have five you have four option that is fuel quantity vehicle speed coolant temperature why do we use the vehicle input sensor we have four option try to answer this question dear students we have discussed this concept earlier 
what would be the answer to this question the answer of this question is all of the above the vehicle input sensor is used to measure fuel quantity vehicle speed as well as coolant temperature now we will move to the next question the question number 6 is if the input signal is in electrical form then this can be used directly and dash is not required if we are getting the input signal or electrical signal in the we are, if you are getting the signal in the electrical form then dash is not required what is not required we have four options whether it is sensor or transistor actuator or all of the above please try to use the knowledge which you, you have acquired in the previous session and try to answer this question yes dear students the answer to this question is sensor if we are getting the input signal in the form of electrical then we need not to use the sensor because sensor purpose is to convert non-electrical signal to electrical now coming to the next question fuel quantity vehicle speed coolant temperature that can be measured by using dash system you have four option instrument panel display suspension system both a and b and none of the above try to think and try to answer this question we have discussed this concept in previous slides Yes, dear students, the answer to this question is instrument panel display. The instrument panel display is used to measure or show the fuel quantity, vehicle speed, coolant temperature in the automobile vehicle. Now, we will move to the next question. Gear select position and the detection of open door is indicated in dash. We have four options. That is instrument panel display, suspension system, both A and B or none of the above. Dear students, you have four options. Try to choose the appropriate option which is suitable to above question fill in the blank. Try to think over it. We have discussed this concept or these parameters in the previous slide yes dear students you found it right the correct answer of this question is instrument panel display with the help of instrument panel display the gear, we can come to know the gear position as well as the condition of the door in automobile vehicle now coming to the last but one question on question number nine in instrument panel display, the process signals are sent to dash. Once we process the signal, where do we send those signals? Whether we send it back to sensor or display or both sensor or display or we will not send those signal anywhere. We have four options. Please try to think over it. Try to apply the knowledge which you have acquired from the previous sessions as well as the previous slides yes dear students the answer for this question is b that is display once we process the signal after getting the input signal we process it and we send it to display for display purpose now coming to the last question dash is used as electrical signal processor in instrument panel display this is also known as the brain of instrument panel we have four options that is sensor display microprocessor or none of the above try to think over it try to apply your knowledge yes dear students the right answer to this question is the microprocessor the microprocessor is used as electrical signal processor in instrument panel display this is all about multiple choice question dear students i believe and i hope that you you like this session now this is all about references these are all the references which i referred to create this ppt dear students if you have any feedback regarding content tools format 
then feel free to send your feedbacks as well as opinion to this mentioned email id that is lms.dtek at gmail.com thank you